Okay, I'm in the Edison uh, ice cave system. I'm in the upper cave. Well, the north cave. Anyway, I'm in the one that actually has ice. Although, except for that white stuff over there on the left. I'll, well, what am I talking about? I'm on an ice floor right here. Durr. But I mean, most of the ice is back by the entrance. I'm already inside. I just had to switch. I had to do an emergency flashlight change. One of my flashlights decided to go on strike against me. Uh, details, details. All right, so anyway. This cave, I think is the biggest cave of the system. Except for the ice. Whoops. I think this is the easiest cave. The other caves, they have a lot of really tight spots. You really have to crawl through to explore. Here, once you figure out how to get past that ice floor at the entrance, it's not really that hard of a cave. I mean, well, I've seen easier. Check it out. See, there's what that white stuff is ice. Obviously, there's an icicle there. One whole icicle. It's funny, some of these ice caves, I get excited about the ice, but then I realize, you know, in the winter, any truck stop's gonna have even more icicles hanging from the restroom building. So, the, where the rain gutters would be. So they didn't splurge for the gutters. Anyway. Wow, check out this rock over here. It's kind of laminated with ice. Pretty. So when you're Climbing, crawling, walking, or otherwise getting through a cave. Definitely pay attention to where your hands and your feet and stuff go. You want to make sure you have good traction. Whoops. So you don't accidentally slip where you don't want to slip. I like this cave though. It's kind of crawl high, so it's, it's just interesting enough. Very rough rock here. Wonder if that has a name. Call it George. All right. There's a little nook and cranny back there. I'm uh, sticking to the right to go counterclockwise to the cave. So maybe on the way back I'll check that out. Wouldn't want to get myself lost. Actually, yeah, I probably would. As long as I get home in time for dinner. I'm happy. Alrighty. Look how smooth the walls are ahead. Hopefully my camera's picking this up okay. It's a tight cave, so it shows up whoops, reasonably well on video. Bigger cave. It takes a lot more light to do the same video. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna sit up straight here. Whoops, got my glove caught up. Okay, there's some ice. There's a way I just crawled through. There's some cave back there. I'll check that out on the way out. The floor here looks mostly dry. Somewhat wet, but not too much ice. Actually, it feels warmer in here. Little bit of peephole up there. Oh, wait. <laughs> you know what? I think that white stuff really is ice. Weird. I must have adapted because it doesn't feel that cold in here. But, well, let's face it. I wouldn't be in here if I had a low metabolism. <laughs> Whoops. I just bumped over a rock. Wow. I see some ice ahead to the left. I see some cave to the right. So let me, uh, I'm gonna keep staying to the right. I'm sure I'll get to that ice eventually. I gotta figure out how I'm getting through here. Oh, wow. Oops. Okay, there's the way out. There's the way I came in. Let's see if there's anything. Whoa, there's ice all over this rock. Okay, not all over it, partially over it. The forecast is for partially ice. Boy. I don't think I can fit through there, but I can look. Oops, 
holding my camera funny because this is not a good place to put my hand. Huh, I think I'm about to hit a dead hand. There's obviously nooks and crannies here, but I don't see one that'll fit me. Oh wow. You know what? Uh, yeah, I remember this. I was joking, I bet if I was really desperate, I could fit back here. I'm just not that desperate. I mean, if I ever come here in a group of skinny people, we could convince the skinniest guy to squeeze up there. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be me. All right, here we go. Yeah, definitely some. Oh wow, I can just climb right over the top here. Can't remember if last time I went over the top or I crawled back out the way I came, but either way, as long as I'm here, I'm totally gonna. Oh wow. So check this out. So over there is the way I came, and I saw more cave over there to the right. There's more cave down here. I just gotta go down there. So first, get a little peekaboo here. So I'm gonna go over the top of this rock pile, hopefully. I see some ice ahead, but I think I can get through here without falling. Yeah. This is gonna be a little tricky. Probably should go the long way. You know what? I already went the long way. Now I'll go the short way. So here I am next to this rock that's partially covered in ice. Cool little gap between the two. I won't quite fit through there. Again, maybe a really skinny person could try to do that. Not it. Okay, so there's the way I came in. There's that ice formation I pointed out earlier. Still there. So that would be the way out. Notice the way the floor bulges right on the side there. And the, how the wall is really silver there. And then the ceiling is orange or kind of rust brown. Interesting. There's that big ice formation. <laughs> About two feet. Okay, maybe, yeah, two feet tall. Not super big. Okay, I'm standing up now, briefly. There's that rock pile I just climbed over. I'm gonna go out here where the rope floor is safe. Now, I'm gonna turn around. There's that rock pile I climbed over. There's the way I came in. That's the way I'll go back out. 